Hey there, fellow knowledge seekers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating yet legally precarious world of card cloning. But hold your horses. Before you start planning any Ocean's Eleven scenarios, let me be crystal clear. This information is for educational purposes only. Think of this as a cybersecurity masterclass. By understanding how card cloning works, you'll be better equipped to protect yourself from fraudsters. We'll be exploring the tools, techniques, and technology behind this clandestine practice, all from the safety of your computer screen. Remember, folks, knowledge is power, but with great power comes great responsibility. Use this newfound knowledge for good, not evil. Now let's unlock the secrets of card cloning. Before we get our hands dirty, let's dissect the anatomy of the cards we'll be cloning. We have two contenders, the trusty magnetic stripe card and its more sophisticated cousin, the chip card. Magnetic stripe cards, those veterans of the plastic transaction world, store your information on, you guessed it, a magnetic stripe. It's a simple but vulnerable system. Think of it like a cassette tape, easy to copy, easy to alter. Chip cards, on the other hand, are the new kids on the block, boasting enhanced security. They store your data on an embedded microchip, creating dynamic data that's much harder to duplicate. Think of it as a secure hard drive, constantly changing its access codes. Understanding the difference between these two is crucial, as cloning each requires a different approach. But don't worry, we'll break it down step by step in the following sections. Ready to assemble your very own hypothetical card cloning kit. It's a fascinating process that combines technology, curiosity, and a bit of creativity. Don't worry, you won't need a secret underground lair or a high-tech lab to get started. A simple home office setup will do just fine. And you certainly don't need a shady contact named the hacker. Instead, we'll rely on easily accessible resources and tools. For educational purposes, we'll be focusing on readily available tools that you can find online or at your local electronics store. First, you'll need a magnetic stripe card reader writer. This device is essential for reading and writing data on magnetic stripe cards. These handy devices can be found online or at certain electronics stores. They come in various models, so choose one that fits your needs and budget. They allow you to read the information stored on a magnetic stripe, which is the black strip you see on the back of most cards, and even write new data onto a blank card, effectively creating a clone of the original card. Next up, for our chip card cloning adventure, we'll need an MSR605X or a similar device. This is where things get a bit more advanced. This nifty gadget allows us to read and analyze the data transmitted between a chip card and a card reader. It's a crucial tool for understanding how chip cards work. Finally, no self-respecting card cloner would be caught dead without a trusty laptop and some specialized software. Your laptop will be the command center for all your cloning activities. There are various programs available online, some free and some paid, that allow you to manipulate card data. Make sure to choose software that is reputable and has good reviews. Remember, we're using these tools for educational purposes only. It's important to understand the technology behind card cloning, but always use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Section four, cloning 101. Duplicating magnetic stripe cards. Let's start with the classic cloning a magnetic stripe card. This process, while seemingly straightforward, involves a few critical steps that need to be followed meticulously. Remember that cassette tape analogy? Just like how a cassette tape stores music, a magnetic stripe card stores data. This is where it gets real. The data on these cards can be sensitive and must be handled with care. First, you'll need a blank magnetic stripe card this is your starting point, the canvas on which you'll create your clone. These can be purchased online or at select stores. Make sure to get a quality card to ensure the data transfer is smooth. 
Think of it as a blank canvas for your hypothetical cloned card. The quality of this blank card can affect the final outcome. Next, swipe the target card through your trusty magnetic stripe card, reader, just writer. This device is essential for capturing the data accurately. This will capture the data encoded on the magnetic stripe, revealing the cardholder's information and the card's unique identifiers. The software you use will display this data in a readable format. Now, insert the blank card into the writer. And, using your chosen software, write the captured data onto the blank card. This step requires precision to ensure all data is correctly transferred. You've just created a clone of the original magnetic stripe card. But hold your horses. This cloned card is an exact replica of the original. Before you get any ideas, remember that magnetic stripe cards are becoming increasingly obsolete, especially for ATM use. The technology is being phased out in favor of more secure methods. Most ATMs now require chip cards for security purposes. The chip technology is much harder to clone and provides better protection against fraud. This method is primarily for educational purposes to understand the vulnerability of older technology. It's important to stay informed about how these systems work and their potential weaknesses. Understanding these processes can help in developing better security measures and staying ahead of potential threats. Always use this knowledge responsibly. As we move towards more secure technologies, it's crucial to keep learning and adapting. The world of cybersecurity is ever evolving and staying updated is key. So, while cloning a magnetic stripe card might seem like a fun experiment, remember the bigger picture. It's about understanding and improving security, not exploiting vulnerabilities. And with that, you've completed a basic lesson in duplicating magnetic stripe cards. Use this knowledge wisely and always prioritize ethical practices in your learning journey. Section 5. Advanced Cloning. Cracking the Chip. In this section, we delve into the intricate world of chip card cloning, a sophisticated process that requires both technical expertise and specialized equipment. Now, for the main event, cloning a chip card. This isn't just about copying data. It's about understanding the underlying technology and exploiting its weaknesses. This is where things get a bit more complicated. But don't worry, we'll guide you through it. Remember the MSR605X? This device is crucial for our task. This is where it shines. The MSR605X is designed to read and write magnetic stripe cards, but with the right know-how, it can be adapted for chip cards as well. By connecting the device between a chip card and a legitimate card reader, we can intercept and analyze the data being exchanged. This step is critical as it allows us to capture the communication between the card and the reader. This data, however, is dynamic and constantly changing, making it much harder to replicate. Unlike static data, dynamic data requires real-time analysis and adaptation. The goal here isn't to create a perfect replica of the chip, but rather to capture enough information to create a one-time use clone. This involves sophisticated coding and a deep understanding of the chip's communication protocols. This involves exploiting vulnerabilities in the communication protocol to trick the card reader into accepting our fabricated data. It's a delicate process that requires precision and expertise. Once we have the necessary information, we can program a blank chip card with this data. This step transforms the blank card into a functional clone, albeit for a limited time. This cloned card, however, will only work for a single transaction, as the dynamic data will no longer match subsequent transactions. This limitation is due to the nature of the dynamic data, which changes with each use. This process is highly complex and requires specialized knowledge and tools. 
It's not something that can be done without a deep understanding of both hardware and software aspects of chip technology. It's important to reiterate that this information is for educational purposes only, to understand the lengths criminals go to and the importance of robust security measures. By understanding these techniques, we can better protect ourselves and our data from potential threats.